Hey there, it's Steve and Terry from Serious Keto and what do we have today? Today we have uh, Keto Chow's My Chow Surprise Box for April. Awesome! <laughs> I did that on the first take. I don't know if I could have done that. All right, what we have been doing lately is instead of doing these every month, we do them every other month and we try and add a little more fun to it by making a couple of recipes or yeah. sharing some insider info or something <laughs> like that. So. Let's take a look at what we've got this month in the box. Do you want to pull them up, show them off, keep Hannah White? Yeah. Lemon meringue. Okay. Strawberry. Okay. Pistachio. That's good. Pina colada. Now, I thought they were out of pina colada. Okay. So I guess I'm glad to see that back. Yeah. Caramel macchia. Macchiato. Macchiato. Two orange creams, so, probably for, more for yeah. spring. Or orange. There, there's probably going to be a recipe, I bet you. Okay, that works. Chocolate peanut butter. Rookie or float. Now, what's interesting is just a couple of days ago, I was having a Zoom call with Chris Bear, and I was drinking the chocolate peanut butter, and he was drinking the root beer float. Oh, okay. So, okay. And then for our big bag. chocolate toffee, which is good because I just finished the last big bag of chocolate toffee. Hmm. All right, how many recipe cards we got? Let's see if we got anything especially good. Five. Five, all right. Five to choose from. <clears throat> Root beer, float, spice cake. Ooh, that's a lot of ingredients. Of ingredients. Oh, nothing fancy. Hmm, a lot of ingredients, so. Ooh, this one looks easy. Chocolate. Orange mousse. So probably mm. use the orange and chocolate. All right, and yeah, like five or six cream. ingredients, so yeah. potential. Chocolate toffee pudding cake. Um, did, I think we we already had that. I once. feel like we did that yeah. at some point, and it was pretty I good. Made, yeah, yeah, I made that. Strawberry cake cupcakes. That's kind of a good thing for Easter. Caramel macchiato ice cream. Um, probably something I wouldn't eat, so I wouldn't want to make it. Yeah, you're not into anything sort of coffee, coffee tasting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like maybe trying out the orange chocolate mousse would be the way to go. I didn't I didn't bring my glasses. I need to borrow yours. Yeah, they're probably all smudgy because That's okay. It'll make me look pretty. <laughs> Whoa, these are smudgy. Yeah, Goodness just gracious. <laughs> So it looks like fairly quick to make and it only needs uh, refrigeration for one hour. So I think that is going to be one of the things we make. The other one is going to be crepes or oh, crepes. Oh yeah, crepes, how do you say them? Or, yeah. well, I think or blintzes. I, I mean, that's kind of Because eventually I mean. that's, that's where we went with them. We wound up making, making blintzes. blintzes. So we're going to show that and then we're going to make this and show that as well. Oh, but here's one other important exciting thing. Well, by now probably everybody knows the second best flavor, in my opinion, of Keto Chow was re-released on the 28th of March. You know what flavor it was? <laughs> the one you made? The no, that would be... Sticky Bun? Sticky Bun is oh, the best. best. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so second best. Second best. The, another one? Raspberry Cheesecake. Okay. Have you had Raspberry Cheesecake? I did. I thought Blueberry was there. <sighs> Blueberry pie is pretty good. Yeah. It's right up there. But <laughs> tell you what, I actually whipped up because I got some advanced release packets. Well, it's advanced release as we're recording this. By the time we release this video, it will have been out for a week or more. But a little bit of raspberry cheesecake. Oh, that's good for Easter coming. Yeah. That's why. It's good for I mean, color, color wise, it's, it's just the right color for Easter. Right. And I mean, it's good you have cheesecake for Easter brunch. <laughs> Do we? Is that like a normal thing? Well, that's a lot of people. I mean, that would be a good thing to make. All right. We're just throwing ideas out. Okay. Really. We're not. We're having a lot of people over for no, Easter. No, just okay, the good. usual. <laughs> oh, it so totally reminds me of eating raspberry ice cream as a child. Yes. yes. Snow plows are coming through right now. If you hear that noise in the background. Yeah. The end of March snow. Mm. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, my babysitter at her house used to always have, her name was Pearl, in case you know her, uh, <laughs> she always had raspberry ice cream, like a little raspberry or oh. blackberry swirl ice cream. Ice cream or and sherbet? I think ice cream. Okay. 
and this completely reminds me of that. Again, snowplow going right through the cold sack right now. <laughs> so yeah, this brings back a lot of good memories for me. All right, well, why don't we make some orange mousse? And, yes. uh, and then also... Chocolate orange mousse. Chocolate orange mousse, thank you. <laughs> and show everybody the crepes slash crepes slash blitzes. <laughs> Hi, this is Terry now. Uh, so I love crepes in the mornings and with cottage cheese and I usually make it from scratch just using my blender with flour and that and I happen to see this crepes simple recipe with keto chow uh, and there's only three ingredients. It's super easy. Um, so I have eight eggs, um, one stick of unsalted butter, melted, and then one package of eggnog keto, eggnog keto chow. It's a tongue twister for me. And it says all you do is put it all in the blender and then I will continue on with making my crepes. So eight eggs. Or about $30 worth of eggs. That looks pretty darn good. That's usually how it ends up. I usually have more, a little more, but that's because I add milk into my mixture. Uh, and then usually how I do this is I pour this in a pie dish, pie plate. So their recipe calls for a skillet on the oven, but I um, have an actual electric crepe maker which makes them round and it's a lot easier as you will see. Um, that's just what I've always done. Uh, I... And like I said, the first one or two have a couple holes, but as you go deeper into it, it... Uh, so you get a little wait. more uniform? Yeah, I just need a spatula. So we had to switch to uh, the actual medium pan uh, light and skillet. The electric crepe maker just didn't. It was too stuck maybe without extra oil or whatever. So it's all good. We're just going to do it this way. Three tablespoons it calls for. So that would probably be two scoops. Getting a little good here. Oh, that looks good. Didn't fall apart. Just one little crack, but that's because I bent that crack. And we usually and we leave it about a minute, it says, till you can see kind of like when you're making a pancake. There we go. So uh, while the crepes are cooking still, we can um, take out our cottage cheese and I just used cottage cheese and uh, vanilla, but well today we're going to use these sweet drops, vanilla cream flavored sweet drops with stevia, right Steve? Yep. I don't know how much. Well, probably one squirt should be plenty. I mean, okay, well, you mix okay. it and taste it if you want. Oh yeah, you're right, there's plenty in there. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So normally what I do then is I like cottage cheese. And again, we put that vanilla in there and these seem pretty pliable. And a lot of times I wrap them in little, but these aren't gonna work that way uh, into little squares, but well, maybe I, I'll see. Let me try this first one. You don't need a lot of filling. Those are going to burrito up. I think that's going to tear, don't you? Yeah. I was, usually I make a little package, see, like this into a square. But actually it's holding it? pretty good. Yeah. 
and then you flip them over and then we put a little greet into a baking dish and you like that a little present so the not so nice looking ones are the ones i did you're far better at making those little, little presents <laughs> so then i'll a slab of uh unsalted butter just a little bit that way it adds and then we got the oven preheating basically you just want to heat them up a little i like mine warmer and then we'll get them in there, take them out, and then we will top them with a little bit of uh, cherry f jam uh, today. From Chalk Zero. From Chalk Zero cherry jam. jam. And these just have to go in for a little bit to heat so the butter melts. All right. All right, I have already decorated mine. I like to put a little dollop of sour cream on too, just to give it a little bit of tart. There's yours. And then Ooh. see the browning a uh, little bit with the butter. I mean, that's why that's why I put the butter. I like the dark browning of it. And then again, I got this jelly. A lot of times I use peaches too, so you could probably whip up some keto chow peach or orange flavor. So you could do all sorts of stuff with these. So I'm going to try mine first. And these are more like a blintz than a crepe. I mean, they're kind of some blintz crepe. So. Mm. Texture is the same, I would say, compared to my other ones that I use with all the flour and everything. But yeah, this has a lot of extra flavor with the eggnog flavor. It's very good. Try yours. Right. I'm gonna go after the big one first. The texture is a little bit spongier than a flour based crepe, but totally, totally good substitution. Very good. Now, I will say though, I personally I find crepes to be a lot of work for the payoff, just in general. So that's that's my opinion. I like that it's a few ingredients, but you do spend an awful lot of time making them. So we got the uh, ch chocolate orange mousse recipe card here, and it calls for first taking a small bowl with a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. And then we have um, some milk chocolate, uh, and we're using Lily's, a half a cup chocolate chips and put them in there stir it a little bit and then it says to add put it in the microwave to melt it for like 30 seconds and then put it off to the side so that's what we will do so I think it's 30 second bursts until fully melted yeah so, but, so it might take longer so I'm gonna take a cover so it doesn't splatter also Here's our first 30 seconds. It's still gonna go up another 30 seconds. Oh, that's looking good. Definitely at least another 30. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice chocolate mix there. So three thirty second blasts. So it says in a large mixing bowl, beat the remaining heavy cream. Oh, we need our electric mixer. Who do you pour in here? So then you're supposed to take an electric mixer and beat it to soft peaks. Okay, so we've got looks... these soft peaks here. Perfect. And that calls next for half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then it calls for orange zest. How's that orange looking? But uh, our orange that we have isn't very healthy, so 
Uh, I mean, we could use all this, but... Why don't we just use a couple drops of orange extract? So, we're going to use a couple drops of this. One, two. Whoa. That was a big drop, this but gonna, the orange is good. This is going to bring some orange flavor. And then it's to bead on medium speed until fluffy and stiff. And then add the cooled mixture to the bowl and bead on medium high. When do we, so when do we first, have the keto chow? Oh, and, oh yeah, and the keto, then sprinkle. Right now it's the keto chow. So orange cream. So I get to show off my keto chow apron too. I get to do the final step. We'll add the chocolate, which is still kind of warm. Hope that isn't a problem. That looks pretty good. Looks good. Probably a little, maybe too orangey, but I guess we'll see later when we try it. All right, we'll cover these with cellophane and then we'll be back in an hour to try them out. So, while these have been cooling for the last hour, I've been getting hot outside for the last hour. Snow. <laughs> yeah, clearing snow. About eight inches we had. Now, one of the things I noticed with that chocolate, it seemed like the chocolate chips kind of maybe seized up a little bit. It's kind of like, a, you know, when you have a broken hollandaise or something. Okay. So I don't know if Lily's chips are necessarily the best. Oh, uh, for melting? Yeah, I don't know. know. Yeah, so it does It does look a, not quite as smooth. Just, I think, and I think it's the Lily's that might be okay. the problem there. But ready for the taste? Yeah. <laughs> Ping. Mm. It's good. I was afraid. I was afraid there was going to be too much orange. Mm -mm. You know, when you get those chocolate oranges. Yeah. What are the, is what are those for? Are those for Easter too, or is there yeah, some yeah. other holiday? You no. you seem to be sort of <laughs> on an Easter vibe here uh, today. Yeah. <laughs> are those Easter? When you get the chocolate oranges. Chocolate oranges, yeah. yeah. And okay. And Christmas too. Right? Yeah, but more. This, this is this is exactly what that tastes like. Yeah. I mean, this is really it's the the perfect balance between orange and chocolate. And this mm -hmm. was not difficult to make at all. Mm -hmm. It's heavier than a mousse, mm -hmm. but not as heavy as like pudding. I don't know what I'd compare. It's almost like a light cheesecake in terms of texture. I bet you could actually, if you had some crust, you could probably just put this over some sort of a crust and have a Hi. chocolate orange cheesecake. Yeah. All right, so I, I love, I love when we get the recipes that are quick, and easy and yummy. Those yeah. are the best. Some of them, uh, way too many ingredients, you know, for us to kind of whip out uh, on a video. But this, this is quick, easy winner. Yes. So then, in terms of the crepes, I thought those turned out pretty well. Yeah. I mean, for, for our first try, you know, we had a little difficulty with the electric crepe maker. Yeah, I, I should have sprayed it, but I usually never spray it. So maybe there just wasn't enough fat or oil or, or something yeah. like that in the batter. Yeah, because in the batter I usually have oil. So, yeah. I think also what might be good, maybe the next time, we could do some savory crepes. Use the chicken soup right. and then maybe fill it with some ham and cream cheese oh, and Swiss, Swiss cheese, cheese. <laughs> sort of mixture and drizzle yeah. some sort of sauce on top yes. of it. I think that would be pretty tasty. And there's a name for that, like crepes. crepes. Florentine or, or Florentine, something. Yeah. I'm not sure what. I'm not that yeah. fancy, but I think that's something we could do mm -hmm. as well. Yep. So a couple of good recipes that were both fairly light on ingredients, mm -hmm. pretty easy to do, and definitely things we're going to do again. Yes. If you would like to order some keto chow and get 10% off, there is a link down in the description below. Just click on that and the coupon code should apply automatically. That is going to be it though for this month. We'll be back and assuming there's no other big keto chow announcements between now and June, and there might be, there might be a big announcement. <laughs> but one way or the other, we'll see you soon. Keep watching our videos. You say mm -hmm. what? 
next time. We'll see you next time. And I say thanks for watching.